crispy noisy 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 crispy yes yeah okay oh hello everyone today i'm gonna teach you how to use the patient or you're gonna say uh or you're gonna call it um da -da 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 -da, email okay i'm gonna teach you how to use it and i'm gonna teach show you some tricks of where you could use it i mean where you could use the hooks and where to do it and how do you gonna do it and from the basics to the end all right so stay tuned for more and thank you for watching all right first of all let's start with what you can do all right let's let's understand what you can do first you got the skill where if he decodes with another female character which is not the psychiatry or ada he's going to get a 30 percent decoding debuff that's understandable right but if he decode by himself and or he decode with another male it's fine okay as long as he's decoding not with other female character like example female dancer if it is called if he decoding with female dancer he's gonna get 30 percent debuff and he got the hooks ability that's that's what we all know and then of course he got the bonded skill where if he see ada he's gonna run to her all right now let's see how we're gonna do how i'm gonna teach you the gameplay here but uh there's a white circle there right okay the white circle actually means that you can hook yourself closer to with this wall and then when you turn your camera around you can go to that direction so it's basically like mercenary elbow pads so let's give this a try for example you're gonna pull yourself here and then boom look behind or look any direction and it will go he will fly to that direction but what if you don't you don't you don't you don't you don't turn around the camera all you have all you're gonna do what's gonna happen is just this if you're just gonna pull yourself here and then you don't look anyway he's just gonna go straight like that and it's it's not gonna work it's not gonna work well i'm telling you he, he's basically just pulling yourself so the best idea to use the white one is to pull yourself and after that face some other direction so you can fly over there it's much more better now i'm going to teach you how to use the orange one the orange circle as you can see right here looks like some areas has orange especially on the top of the walls what this means is you can actually climb onto them after he hook like for example like this he's gonna climb over it and it's just like that all right let's try that again with a different map now as you can see if you actually look up there you can see there's orange so what you're gonna do is just pull yourself and he will climb through it just like every other places now let's wait for a while and then we can climb to another place i mean another wall basically he's very good at wall wall climbing and pole as you can see the orange is that's what the orange do all I basically do is just pull yourself pull yourself to the wall like this again pull yourself all right now let's see what the white one does all right here is what the white one does when you go to the wall you pull yourself to the wall face any direction and you will he will fly to that direction and again let's try that again for example on the trees on the trees you're going to pull yourself to the tree and it faces another direction and he will fly to that to that word all right like for example we're being chased okay you're being chased right now and you need to like pull out some gas now what you're gonna do look at the wall any wall as long as it's white pull yourself and boom you fly all right that's what the white one actually does okay now you basically already understand how he works right it's pretty straightforward you're just gonna pull yourself there pull yourself up there when, when there's orange you're gonna get yourself to climb up there when Y, you're gonna pull yourself there and then push yourself back just like mercenary elbow pads it's as simple as that now i'm going to teach you what's good about him all right the reason he's really good is because he's best at windows and most walls when there's walls you can hook there and what's better is the the windows right here's the window example when you try to pull yourself while you're being chased pull yourself to the window oh you get to uh, you don't really need to vault the window that's the good part about him and he puts a lot of good distance for you now what if you find another window like for this example windows are the best for 
patient because that's where his true nature is belong to all these windows right here you have to aim up at up higher and at the white just aim it upward like this and boom hold yourself and you're gonna scroll you're gonna straight slide in there which is better instead of vaulting because vaulting gonna get your tower shock right so this won't this method won't get you tower shock but the problem is you gotta be careful about one thing um his hook is easily disrupted so example if you're facing again a sculpture and the sculpture is spamming the heck out of his her statue all right you once you get hit by just once once one statue it will just stop your hooks or if you get hit it's going to stop your hooks too so you, you can't actually you can't actually pull yourself that's one thing you need to look at all right folks now i'm going to teach you something important there's a use of patient in this map which is called the red church yeah. So if you're in this map, if you notice, there's actually this kind of window looking right here, right? Like these empty windows. You can actually hook through it if you position yourself correctly. Like for example, look at the orange. You can see there's an orange highlighted, right? On the opposite side. Just don't get yourself too close to the window and it can hook yourself there. And boom, you go through the window. There's a several of these windows there that allows you to do that. Like for example, you can go through this window too. Just pull yourself and boom, you get in there. So how this works is basically all these windows. It seems like the fences doesn't actually block you from anything. This only this only happens for this uh, this map. So you have to position yourself correctly. You can't actually go get close to the window because if you get close to this window like like right here you're going to bump into the the bot the below the bottom of the window and boom like that just get yourself right in the position and fire the hook boom and you pull yourself there as easy as that just remember the trick when you're doing this is don't get too close to this window this window to the to the lower side of the window and it will work it will not work on this side because like this window is too small okay too small it's very understandable you have to use your logic your own logic your set of logic so if you see from this side it should work should work from this side yes all right now this is the sacred heart hospital map and you can see it's first of all first of all it's pretty self-explanatory every shack has this thing you aim at the top there boom pull yourself and you get in there easily very fast you can actually climb over them if you make it to orange like this boom you can get in there one thing you can and cannot is you cannot hook yourself go back up there or any of the holes from this map none sadly you can also somehow you cannot go through this even though if you tr hook through this uh, just hook yourself there boom and you get instantly get inside the hospital right here like this so it puts a lot of distance and trust me this is really good all right now we're in the arms factory map what we're gonna do right now is just look at this open you can see at the factory there's like a several opening right you can actually use your hook on them and get in there which is pretty cool right you cannot use around this one because it's kind of like uptight and lock and you might see that there's an orange a little bit of orange there so if you actually pull yourself there it makes you crawl yeah you climb climb through that but i think you can climb over through it you can climb through it yeah which is cool but you can't pull yourself and fly out of it oh oh you can you can actually can yeah i'm amazed all right ladies and gentlemen there's a reason why i came to this map right now because i'm gonna teach you something important again look at how this carousel all right you can see there's a like white white icon around them right so if you actually pull yourself there you can actually go through them you see that you put a lot of distance too that's how it works just aim around 
Right on the side. Don't don't aim at the middle, man. If you aim at the middle, he will pull yourself himself inside. And he's just probably gonna push himself a little bit to the side. But if you pull if you pull yourself on the side here. On the side here. Give me a second. Just around this side, you know? Around the side, you pull yourself. You can instantly cut through it. Oh hello, hunter. Can I actually pull yourself up there? Whoa, look at that. Now look, you could pull yourself up there if you wanna, but I don't see why you want to. Up here. Like this. To close up the distance. Like that. Which is pretty self-explanatory, right? Now look at how that moving carousel is. Just like the, the outer carousel, you can also do it on here. You can pull yourself. And then boom! Skip through it. Just like that. Have you ever played like 2 vs 8 mode and then like you have to meet this map, the Ever Sleeping Town? So, well, there's one cool thing about this is you can actually pull yourself back into the hole. If you're in like a little bit of a precise location. Like, give me a second. This. Oh, it's so hard to get the orange. Like there. You can pull yourself up back after dropping down, tricking the hunter. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Any any place with a hole like this, this distance is good. You can just pull yourself there, boom, and pull yourself back. If the hunter doesn't have a broken window, and you see, you can just pull yourself back. I mean, if the hunter doesn't block the window, you can pull yourself back up like this, alright? And then, there's one part of this, is right here. You see there's an orange? Where's the orange again? Right, 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 right here. All right, if you pull yourself there, uh, the orange, or maybe not. All right, there's one more. No, no, this, I think it's here. Pretty sure it's here, this one. All right, this orange right here. It's a little bit tricky, but you gotta get used to it. And boom, you somehow get on here. Yeah, you see that? So you have to pull yourself on the very right side. A little bit close. Oh, I can't believe I already used all my hooks. And the rest of this map is pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to show you anymore because the tricks is pretty obvious. But if you guys think you really need me to do more of this, I mean, showing you where's the hot spot, where's a good spot to use his hooks, uh, you can probably just comment down below in this video and I'll probably make it for you. Alright? I guess that's all for now that I that I think I would want to show. But I just remember the red chest was one of the best one. One of the best. And always remember you can hook to pallets. And you can also... I mean going to the window is the best. Alright the window is the best spot for him to kite. And as always. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.